Friends and family of 11 young men who died 70 years ago gathered in Chilliwack today for the unveiling of a new memorial. The men were on a training mission just weeks after the end of the war in Europe. But the B-24 Liberator bomber crashed on a mountain north of Chilliwack. Megan Batchelor has more on a very emotional day. They give their lives up for what we have today. Derek Watson lost his friend, Sergeant David Robertson Langlands, 70 years ago. Time, though, has not muted the sting of his loss and the impact of his life. David uh, made a big mark in my life, and uh, I looked up to him. It's, it's really helped me in, the, in, the, you know, in, in years afterwards, you know, uh, trying to uh, be as much like David in the, in the things that he believed in. Langlands was one of 11 killed in 1945 when the bomber they were flying a training mission in crashed into the side of Mount Welch near Chilliwack. This morning, the mountain was covered in cloud, the same kind of conditions faced by the crew of the B-24 bomber when it crashed. Today, that prevented their loved ones from seeing the site from the air. The mission to find the men was extensive, 700,000 miles flown by rescue crews, 52 aircraft used. Ultimately, the men were buried on the mountainside, the impact of the plane's crash still visible. It's sad actually that it's a family member that we never knew. You know, there could have been other family, there could have been other relatives and that was cut short in one brief instant. In July, the engine from the plane was plucked from the site using a Sea King helicopter. It now lies in a newly created memorial outside Chilliwack. Loved ones traveled from as far away as New Zealand, Scotland and Norway to honor the 11 killed. It's nice to get a, an ending to it, to know they have a resting place and they're, we're much appreciated to the people of Chilliwack for everything they've done. The monument was created through the fundraising efforts of the local legion. Where a person is, is killed in action or killed in a training exercise, then the country comes together to help and support the, the loved ones of the people who are lost. So that's why this, this particular memorial is really, really important. The families and friends of those killed are hoping to try again tomorrow to see the place where they now rest. Megan Batchelor, CBC News, Chilliwack.